Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and last week I made a quick little video for the new players coming in on how to suck a little bit less at Insurgency Sandstorm. Um, I didn't really go over anything super specific. It was pretty general and broad, um, but this time around I did want to make something that was a little bit more specific that could actually help you guys out in your journey sucking less because this game's not super easy. So today I have 10 tips for you that should make you instantly better and have a lot more fun in this game. These tips aren't in any particular order, so let's just hop right on in. Tip number one is to slow down. I already said this in the previous video, but I'm going to say it again. This game is punishing. It really only takes one good shot to put you down, and that's it. In other games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, you know, you can eat like five rounds and be fine. That's not the case here. Literally, someone could breathe on your toe, and you're going to die. So slow down, stop sprinting everywhere, be a little bit more patient, and you'll probably live a little longer than five seconds. Tip number two is to use your smokes and utilize them properly. Smokes are really good for concealing yourself and your team from the enemy, but a lot of people actually use smoke wrong and don't even realize it. The best way to use smoke is to get your smoke as close to the enemy as possible and as far away from you as possible. The reason for this is pretty simple. The closer a smoke is to somebody, the more it obscures that person's field of view. So for example, if you have a machine gunner that's really giving your team a hard time, just pop a smoke like right in his face and he can't do anything about it anymore. He won't be able to see anything, he won't be able to actually land shots on you guys, and he's effectively ineffective. With that being said, please don't be the person that smokes the objective while on defense. Dude, don't fucking smoke our position. You're unnecessarily making it harder to defend the point, and you're pretty much helping the enemy team come in and just wreck your shit immediately. <laughs> Tip number three, use your flashbangs. They're also super effective. Being on the receiving end of a flashbang in this game absolutely sucks. It's super loud, it's super bright, it lasts a long time, and you're pretty much guaranteed to die if you get flashed. So give yourself the advantage before you go into a dangerous area and just throw a flashbang in there. You'd honestly be so surprised how much easier it is to clear a room when all the enemies are covering their faces and screaming because their eyes no longer exist. Tip number four, what your character is wearing actually does matter. The type of camo and colors that your character is wearing actually does help in either making you blend in a little more to the environment or making you stand out like a sore thumb. There aren't any magic red dots or name tags that appear over enemy players in this game, so your camouflage choice really does help you out. So if you want to get seen less often and less quickly, just make sure that whatever your character is wearing actually blends in with the map you're playing on and your surroundings. Unless you're Insurgent Jesus. Insurgent Jesus does whatever the fuck he wants. Fuck you! Tip number five, use comms and talk to your team. This is a team-based game, so communication and teamwork can play a huge role in how a match plays out. You can either speak in proximity, where other players nearby can hear you, or over the radio, where your entire team can hear you. Although just know that if enemies are close enough, they can hear you talk as well. So if you do happen to be really close to an enemy to where you guys are within earshot of each other, make sure to talk as much shit as possible to just drop their morale. Trust me, it works. Put your hands up. No, no, bro. Bro, please. Just come out. We can we can safely settle this. Get fucked, bitch. <laughs> Tip number six: Armor is actually not that useful in this game. Pretty much any caliber that's bigger than a nine mm can still put you down in one or two shots, even if you're wearing heavy armor. To be honest, it's pretty rare that armor saves you, and it's not really worth the penalty to your speed, your stamina, and the amount of points it takes up. For the most part, you're better off not wearing armor and just using those points that you're saving to bring in more useful things like extra grenades, maybe an extended mag for your gun, or something like a foregrip for your bolt action sniper rifle. What? What the fuck? That last part was a joke. Please don't actually do that. If you do that, you're stupid. Tip number seven, your KD does not matter if that's all you're focusing on. Kills don't win games, objectives do. The only time your KD ratio matters is if you're actually playing the objective and helping your team to win. With that being said, tip number eight is super simple, but a lot of people get it wrong for some reason. Play the objective. Just play the fucking objective. Please. It's not that hard. Just do it. 
Speaking of objectives, tip number 9, you don't actually have to go plant the explosives at enemy caches to blow them up. You can blow them up with rockets, C4, IEDs, incendiary grenades, and molotovs. And if you're a commander, airstrikes work fine too. And usually it's actually faster to use those than to plant the actual explosives and then blow it up after. And that brings us to our last tip, tip number 10. If you are playing on the insurgent side and the security calls in the helicopters, it's really easy to actually bring them down without the use of an RPG. Just aim for the tail rotor and just unload on it until it breaks. This can usually happen within seconds, especially if there's a good handful of you guys shooting at the helicopter. Light machine guns and the anti-material 50 caliber sniper rifles are pretty much the best weapons to do this with. Alright guys, so that wraps up my top 10 tips on how to instantly get better at Insurgency Sandstorm. If you also have any helpful tips that you want to share, leave a comment down below this video so everyone can see it. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. I'm a brand new YouTuber, so any sort of feedback, whether it's positive or negative, is super helpful for me, so I know how to make better content in the future. And speaking of future content, if you guys want to see more from me, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I have a lot of ideas on the kind of content I want to make for this channel going into the future. And, you know, if you guys want to stick around, that'd be pretty cool. So that's enough for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.